Now to the big bank's biggest secret, and it could lead to quite a windfall for the average homeowner. You see, for years the big lenders have been keeping hundreds of millions of dollars of our money simply because we haven't asked for it. Well, that's all about to change, and here's Sarah Clark. There's millions of dollars sitting unclaimed in mortgage insurers' pockets. It's one of the best kept secrets in home loans. This affects everyday Australians, um, every day of the week, every day of the month. Hidden money that millions of home buyers are rightly entitled to, but missing out on, simply because the banks, brokers and mortgage lenders don't want you to know about it. It's time for the banks to, to come clean on this. Every year, up to 500,000 of us borrow money to finance the Australian dream. And for anyone borrowing more than 80% of their home loan, and that means a third of us, mortgage insurance is compulsory. But how many homeowners know what that insurance covers? If I couldn't pay the mortgage, it would cover what I couldn't if I was incapacitated. Just insurance that covers you if you lose your job or you know, die or something like all wrong. Mortgage insurance only protects the lender. There's no safety net at all for the borrower. Borrowers simply don't realise they're not covered by the mortgage insurance. Wayne Ormond from Refund Home Loan says it's a rip-off and an unnecessary fee, making the banks richer while customers get nothing. The average Australian is probably paying somewhere in the order of two and a half to two, three and a half thousand dollars in mortgage insurance. But what will make your blood boil is that borrowers are often entitled to a refund. For those who refinance their loan within a set time frame, there's a cashback clause, but very few know about it. I just bought a house and the mortgage broker did not mention any rebate. I haven't been advised that if I refinance within two years there would be a rebate. No, I wasn't aware of that at all. While banks and mortgage lenders don't advertise it, the reality is if a person refinances their loan within two years, a cut-off set by the mortgage insurers, they're actually entitled to a rebate of up to 40%. And although we try to read every contact very carefully, um, those things don't appear to be on the contracts. Karen Runge and her husband refinanced their home loan within the two-year period. They were entitled to a refund but never received a cent. Over the last few years, we have failed to receive about $3,500 that we were entitled to. So, based on a home loan of $300,000 with a 10% deposit, you'd pay just over $3,500 in mortgage insurance. If you refinanced in the first year of the loan, you're entitled to a 40% or $1,400 cash back. If you refinance in the second year, you're supposed to get back 30% or $1,050. We've seen some massive premiums. We've seen some premiums uh, that are up well over $20,000. There's only two mortgage insurers operating within Australia, PMI and Genworth. We contacted both companies and were assured PMI and Genworth automatically send a refund if the loan's discharged within two years. So the big question, if the money's not reaching consumers, where's it going? I have to wonder where that money is and in whose bank account that money is sitting because it should really be in ours. No, I didn't get a refund and apparently you do a refund if you refinance in the first two years. Father of two, Julian, is also $3,000 out of pocket. He's just applied for a new home loan and is too scared to reveal his real identity because the bank threatened if he does, it may withdraw his loan. When we first met the broker on for the first loan, there was no mention about um, if we refinance that there would be money back. Federal MP Michael Johnson is furious consumers aren't explained their rights. They should be told verbally and they should be told uh, in written form and I think they should be made to sign or encouraged to sign a document that says they've read it. I guess uh, if you're a shareholder you'd be quite happy about it but the uh, majority of us aren't and it's, um, it's, it's a disgrace. But now the secret's out, the good news for all homeowners is if you refinance within that two-year period, you can still claim the refund up to seven years later. The big tip is, with property prices and interest rates steady, it's a boom time to refinance. So ask your lender for some cash back. And for the thousands of Australians who have refinanced in recent years, unaware of the cashback entitlement, Wayne Ormond says they should be bashing on the doors of their lender and demanding their money back. There's so many people that are sitting out there right now that have refinanced their loan in the last two years that have paid mortgage insurance that haven't been told by the bank or by the mortgage insurer that they're eligible for a refund.
Sarah Clark reporting there and additional details on that story can be found on our website at 7.com.au slash today tonight or you can give us a call.